Hey, this is Adam. Real quick today, I wanted to show you how you can use or sync between Todoist and calendars. Uh, real quick, I'm going to show premium uh, version, which is very fast, and then there's also a way you can do this if you're not using Todoist premium. Okay, so if you're using premium, you just click on this gear icon up here and go to Todoist settings, and you scroll down to iCalendar feed. Okay, and in this version or in this account that I use for uh, creating videos, I don't pay for the premium account. Um, although I do this in my personal account. So if you have that, that's great. You can just click this or copy the link that will be there for you again if you're a premium user. And then all you have to do is go into your calendar, click other calendars and add by URL, paste that in there and you're good. Okay. Now if you're using the Todoist free version or there may be some other options where you want to kind of customize things, you should use IFTTT. Okay. And what that is is if this then that. This is a free service you can sign up for. And you just go in and you connect um, your account. So in this case, we're gonna we already have our Todoist account and our Gmail accounts connected, or our calendar account. And you click on to create a recipe. So what we're gonna do here is look for this is the first step, and we want to go from calendar to Todoist. So we're gonna go Google Calendar. I'm gonna create a trigger, and you can look. Uh, depending on what service you're using, there may be different triggers. In this case, we want to go with any new event added. That's the one that makes sense. So when we add a new event in our calendar, then we want to do something else. And that something else is Todoist. Okay, and there's only one thing we can do in Todoist, and that is create a task. So you click on that, and then it lets you customize it. You can create a project or sorry you can have it go to a specific project or just pop it in your inbox um, there's a lot of tags customization you can do this is going to be the task content that's what's actually going to be on that line again you can select a bunch of ingredients and you can use their formatting guide you can add a note to it you can add a due date um, and this will be important if you want it to show up like in your inbox in today then you want to have that um, have that done or you, what you probably want to have is the date but it just again this is all up to you you may want to be notified right away in Todoist or you may want it on the assigned date so you can look at the formatting guide for that and then if you want to assign it a priority so that it stands out and when you're done you just click create action gives you a quick review and you click create and it does it so now when you go over to your calendar you just say a new event that's created now, what IFTTT is going to do when it runs is it's going to look, say, ah, there was something added, boom, puts it into Todoist. And usually it's pretty quick. It can take just a few minutes, although I think it can take up to 15 minutes. It's not continuously looking, but it is fairly fast. So I'm going to find that in Todoist and give you a quick look at what that looks like. Okay, here we are. So uh, like I said, I didn't assign them a due date, so they're all in the inbox. So I made a bunch of test ones for this video so you can see all of these big event, another event, important task, another event, things like that. So you can play around with that, make the IFTTT recipe exactly what you want, um, again by editing it. Once you make it, you can edit it, you can turn it off, you know, you can do whatever you want to do, um, you know, just by going back to it. Really easy, so hopefully that helps you, and let me know if you have any questions about IFTTT and Todoist.